everyone, Martina Nelson here from Pioneer Livestock Specialist in Ontario. Today I want to talk about leafhopper and alfalfa. This is one of the, the biggest insects that affects our yields um, here in Ontario. Leafhoppers don't overwinter here. They migrate flying up from southern states. They'll come in, they'll lay their eggs as early as May, and then the eggs take about seven to ten days before they hatch. And then once they hatch, it's about two week cycle till they reach their full adult maturity. The shorter the alfalfa is, whether that's younger plants or earlier stages of the regrowth, the more susceptible they are to damage from the potato leaf hopper. What we're looking for is either the nymph or the adult stage. The nymphs are lime green, they're paler in color and, and quite small. And the distinguishing feature is that they lack wings. They'll crawl really quickly when uh, you walk through the field or when they're disturbed, where the adults, they have wings, so they'll jump or they'll fly. The adults are also um, that yellowy lime green um, color and they are about one eighth of an inch long. What the leafhoppers will do is they'll, they'll bite or suck the leaf tip and then take out the sap resulting in the leaf tip to start being yellow in a V shape down the leaf. And then you'll also see it turn into a reddish or bronzy look, the more severe or prolonged the feeding stress is there. The plants will look stunted um, and stop growing. The most important thing is though that we see the insects before they do the damage and then be able to actually control them because once we see the damage, it's too late for any corrective action. We want to get out in our fields about a week after our first cut and do an assessment how much leafhopper there is, if there's any. Leafhoppers like that 25 to 32 degrees Celsius, which is what we've been seeing. So if you have a net, that's the best thing to use. This one's a 15 inch diameter. If not, you can also use a ball cap. And you'll just do 10 consecutive sweeps in five different locations and we'll say that's 10 and then you want to count how many potato leaf hoppers we've collected if the leaf hopper count for those 10 sweeps exceeds the average plant height in inches or in our leaf hopper resistant varieties if the leaf hopper count for those 10 sweeps exceeds three times of the plant plant's height then we need to be taking action if we are within seven days of harvest, then I would suggest cutting that stand and then keeping a close eye on our regrowth. If we're too far from harvest, then use an effective insecticide to help bring down the, the damage that the leafhoppers will do. Pioneer does have a leafhopper resistant variety. It's called 55H94. It has small hairs on the stem of the plant, which helps repel leafhoppers. I suggest getting out at least once a week now and taking an assessment on our fields. Leafhoppers can really do a lot of damage. So thank you everyone, happy scouting and stay safe.